I was talking about somebody about this other thing, talking about when we, even when we was, I was telling them about how we were talking about, you know, how we got to the place where we say, you know, you know, God have given me peace about this. The way I am, I have peace about it, but we always praying about it. You know, we praying about the thing that we have peace about. So just think about this. If somebody told you, no, it's cool. I'm fine with it. But they always remind you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are they fine with it? No, not at all. No. See, we at y'all. When we have peace about something, that's when so y'all. That's why I told y'all we have to get to the place where we move from having just peace about it. Because we, we uh, to be honest, we yeah. just have gotten to the point where we be lying. Yeah. You know, we yeah, say yeah. we have peace about it. <laughs> we just really lying. You know, just you know, it'd be better to just be honest and say, Lord, I, I you know what? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. You know, hey, no. Help me, cause I don't like it at all. As I am. But that's when he can help you. Y'all, serving is totally, totally, y'all, totally about God. It is totally about God. If you, look, if I don't be mentioned, if he is, Amen. That's right. I know that's right. Amen. then I'm happy. You know, if look, if I don't look, if nobody promote me, yeah. if he promoted, yeah, that's right. Then it's good. Yeah. Look, if nobody recognize me, yeah. if they recognize him, then it's good because all just say this is how you have to get to the place where you said all I do yes. is about him. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, y'all, we are serving, look, in ministry. Amen. Amen. Do we understand what we're saying? Amen. But we, y'all, is. <sighs> look at this, y'all. One thing that really happens when we are serving out of the context of ministry is the next part of this passage. We're down here in verse 24. It says, When the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brethren. And Jesus had to call them over. Because they realized, you know what? They just want a position. That's the only reason why they do it. They want a position. And that angered them. They was moved. They said, hey, look, they started looking at him going, you, man, you know, Peter probably wanted to hurt him. You know? <laughs> but they were moved. And I'm saying that because you know what? Do you know, even in the church, do you know that's one of the things that caused divisions? and systems and schisms and all that kind of stuff is when people realize you're not doing this for God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This really all about you. Yeah, Jesus. And a lot of times, y'all, we do it for that. Y'all, do you know some of us do it because we like being in control? Yeah. <laughs> And we can't embrace the way somebody else do it because if somebody else do it different than the way you do it, I can't get with that. Yeah. It has to be done the way I do it. So the only way it can be done the way I do it is I got to be over it yeah. so I could do it my way. Yeah. Is that ministry? No, no, no. Look, it's serving. It's serving, <laughs> but it's not ministry. You know, I mean, and, and, and this is what happens, y'all. It's, it's, it's in the church deep. It's in the church deep to where, I mean, we, we do it when we've been doing it so long, a lot of times we don't even know we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't even know we're doing it. 
And a lot of times that is one of a big problem in churches today. Is you got folk who love to be in control. Look, they have their buddies, their friends, their cousins, their sisters, their brothers. They have, look, they pick and choose who they want to be in there. You know what I mean? They have, you know, you see y'all, you see they choirs and all this kind of stuff all the time. And some people who should be in there is not in there because the person who's over it has done it all for the wrong reason. And it was never ministry. <laughs> <sighs> so they was hot against these two brothers because these two brothers, you know, they, they came for a spot. And look what Jesus says. He says, ye know, look, he said, y'all know this. This is what I want y'all to understand. And this is what I want y'all to be clear with. You know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them. And they that are great exercise authority upon them. Amen. Let's read that again. You know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them. And they that are great exercise authority upon them. Amen. Whether you are pastors, ministers, whether you are ministry leaders, whether you are the saints of God that God uses, we have to remember this. Those are not your people. <laughs> They're not. What, you, know what, you know one thing that really keeps me in line? I always remember this scripture. It says that, um, how it goes, it goes, um, it would be better to tie a millstone about thy neck and to cast it into the sea than to offend the least one of mine. Amen. Amen. Hey. That's serious. Amen. That Amen. lets you know right then they are not your people. They're not. And I'm saying that because when we think about serving, see, because when we think about serving, we're going to be doing for and doing, uh, and I'm glad I used that word, doing for. Look, not doing upon. Not having dominion over. Yeah, 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 Look, we'll be yeah. doing. We'll be doing for. I heard uh, uh, one of the, 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 the young people say, "It's like a waiter," and that's a great example because a waiter don't get much hours. Waiters live off tips, and so if a waiter don't perform, they lose their tips. Look, especially if they're dealing with black folks. Oh, no, Spanish. And Spanish folks, <laughs> they'll lose their tip in a heartbeat. Yep. They, they, they will. They, they will. They, they will. But my point, and I'm saying that because I've waited tables. I understand what it's like. And it was one of, you know, when I look back, I thank God that I did it because I learned so much. But one thing I did learn is, you had to be observant of the people you were serving. Amen. Amen. You had to know what they needed at all times. Yes. And you responded to their yes. needs. Yes. 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 Look, and no matter what went on at home and, yes. and what you was going through yes. and what was on, you know, in your family and this and that and the other, I don't care what the weather was like outside. Look, I don't care if you had a cold or didn't feel good or whatever. Yeah. When you got over to them, you presented yourself in a pleasant way. Yeah. Amen. 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 You know, hey, and, and, and you watch them. And you be watching to see who glass low. Yeah. Yeah. Who finished with their food. And you got to be able to tell who finished and who's not. 
Because some people may just be sitting there and you may think they finished and when you try to go grab it, they go, no, I'm not finished. And then even then, you got to know how to back out of it because, you know, some people get hot if you just grab it. So you have to know how to approach them because you was a servant. All right? He said to them, he said, but see, the, the, the princes exercise dominion. And a lot of times we can be that way because, you know, I'm a